What is happening, people? So glad to be back on another episode and so glad to be talking to you guys. Uh, I got to tell you, I've certainly missed doing this. I've been a little busy as of late, but uh, getting back down to business now. And actually, let you know today, it's a blazing hot day. There's not a fart of wind. You could hear a gnat fart right now. That's how calm it is. And uh, I'm on one of my favorite musky expeditions. I am river fishing this afternoon and hopefully into the evening until the mosquitoes carry me away. Uh, at any rate, that's the plan for today. I'm just just me by myself. Um, just my jet boat. Got some top waters, a few bucktails, this, that, and the other thing. And that's about it. I don't know. What more could I tell you? It is so awesome to be out here and I'm so happy to be sharing it with you guys. Let's get started. All right, folks, I'm going to be starting out with the trusty tried and true flap tail black orange flame. Uh, this is actually the first flap tail I ever made. I'm still using it. I don't know how many dozens and dozens and dozens and maybe a hundred muskies I've caught in this thing, uh, but it just keeps getting the job done. These of which are, of course, are available at muskyshop.com. Actually just sent some up today, as a matter of fact. So they got a few in stock anyhow. I'm doing my best to keep up with them. And that's the program. Nice and slow, nice and easy. And that's that. Hopefully the next time I open my mouth, it'll be a fish bite. There we go. One cast with the flap tail. One cast. <laughs> Threw pretty much everything else in there. Boiler maker. Uh, what else did I throw? Chopper. I think I got him fouled. Yeah, just a little guy. But it is a musky nonetheless. Yeah, I got him fouled. Let's see. Let me grab the net here. One flipping cast. Okay, of course I hooked the camera. There we go, on the board. <laughs> One cast, that's all it took. For those of you that have now figured that bait out, how deadly it is, I kind of regret it. Okay, here we go. All right, folks, for those of you that have ever doubted the power of the flap tail, one cast was all took to catch that fish. I actually saw that fish porpoise a couple times, threw two different baits at it, and then came back with the flap first cast. That was it, man. All right, let's get her back. Yeah, I think she's good. Cool, cool. All right, on the board. That's the first muskie I've caught in I can't tell you how long. All right, I know there's more in there. I saw two more porpoise. All right, folks, got that on the flap tail. I am throwing that on the Chaos Assault Stick 2020 in the Surgical Strike action, which is the medium heavy, light bucktails, top water, twitch baits, pretty much everything under four ounces this thing is uh, perfect for. That's a nine foot telescope. If you have not seen a telescoping musky rod like this, look at that. You are so missing out, I can't even begin to tell you. I've waited for this, this type of musky rod in this high a quality as the 2020 for literally over 25 years. And it has not disappointed so far. I've got uh, Tranks 400 in the power gear, the slower speed. I've got 80 pound, sorry, I saw a fish porpoise up ahead. I kind of missed what I was saying. Got 80 pound Power Pro Super Slick, and that works perfect for this co combo. 130 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's the setup. I know there's more muskies here to be caught. I know I get a lot of messages, emails, whatnot, asking what speed do I go with the flap, 
or some people message and say, yeah, my boat, uh, my bait is nose diving. It's not running right. If it's nose diving, you're going too fast. You can see how slow I'm actually pulling this thing. And uh, it, it really doesn't do much, especially the smaller flap tail here does not have a lot of sound, a lot of action. I think that's why it's so deadly. It's basically finesse fishing muskies. And you know, sometimes they just don't want a giant bait or a plop, 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 plop bait. They want something they can just, they know they can catch, no question. And that is why this bait is so deadly. So don't be afraid to slow down, man. You almost can't go too slow with this bait. That is pretty much a fact. Little turn as I get close in case there was one underneath I couldn't see. Make my nice 90 degree turn. Go at least five, six feet past my turn. Nobody there, I'm ready for my next cast. Here we go, here's one, come on. Dang it, busted me, son of a biscuit. <sighs> that was a good one, that was definitely into the 40s. Nice fish, oh my gosh, dang it dude. On the flap nine, that was so sick, you know, it's like, yeah, I don't mind catching them. Of course, don't get me wrong, but to see a fish do that, I mean, to almost make that mistake is almost more exciting, you know, because I know that fish is here and we can still get it to bite, so very cool. You know, the one cool thing about fishing this shoreline is we actually get a premature sunset here. So, you know, those trees are up in the air. That sun is just blazing. I pretty much have had I can feel the sweat run down my butt crack, if uh, truth be told. It is super hot out here today, but that's one thing you can always think about. If you got fish on a shoreline that, you know, gets first shade, that uh, can be something that you can put in your favor for sure and get bites earlier in the evening than you would normally. So, something to think about. Here we go. Here's one. Come on. Come on, I got plenty of time to work with her. Gosh, she won't do it. Maybe they want that smaller one. Come on, I could see her boiling back there. Just sunk. Dang it, another one. Definitely different fish, because I've moved up a little bit here. Actually, you know what? That's two follows on the nine. I caught the fish on the regular size, so I'm gonna get this nine off, go back to what was working, and see if that will make the difference. All reliable, flat tail number two. Oh, I got her, I got her. Another musky, small one though. But it is a musky, next cast or first cast with the smaller flap again that's that's unbelievable the power of this bait i mean i don't care who makes it someone else would have made it i'd be telling you the same thing this is finesse musky fishing at its finest come here girl oh yeah nice fish Woo. awesome Ooh. that'll get your attention come here girl Okay, in the bag, and we got her. Oh, we don't got her. Let's do a reverse net job, how about that? Okay, we'll try that. She's hung kinda high, I'm gonna get her off right away. Okay, there we go. All right, folks, we got herself a two fish night here. Top water action, flap tail. As soon as I switch back to that smaller flap, Literally the first cast with it again got absolutely smoke cityed. So freaking cool. Nice fish. Oh, she's gonna go. She yeah. She's full of energy. Holy cow, man. Yep, she just went down. Whoo, two fish night. I'll take that. I'm glad you guys are here with me to enjoy it. This is kind of fun. 
I need a drink. It is so hot, I can't even tell you. And by the way, water temp is about 77 degrees right now, and it's getting close to that no fish time, but the thing is uh, about rivers, uh, you have definitely more oxygen content on rivers because it's always moving, and usually the water doesn't even get above 80. So that can be a savior too under no fish musky times when the water temp gets above that 80 range. Okay, flap on. All right, folks, welcome to dinner tonight. Clutch and some beef jerky. Get this down the hatch before it heats up. Wait, I guess it's already heated up. There we go. Whoa, thought she was coming in there. That was sick, out of freaking nowhere. Whoo! No, don't go under the boat, girl. Don't go under the boat. Holy man, that was so freaking cool. That is why I musky fish right there. Oh man, nice fish too. Looks like I got her beak pinned pretty good. Let's see here. One more. Try to land them as quick as we can in this, yeah right, in this little bit warmer water. Get her back quick. There we go. They're getting bigger. Whoo! Oh boy. There goes the clutch. Oh well. That was worth it. Okay. I got it out. Let's see. So the great thing about this flap tail as opposed to other manufacturers out there. Okay, yeah, this uh, uh, wire, drop wire is all bent up or whatever. Um, this is actually replaceable. I've replaced the one in this bait, I don't know, a couple dozen times for sure. So that's one thing. All you need is a number one screw. Excuse me, that is a wonder, <laughs> number one screw. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. Uh, number one Phillips bit, so you get nice and tight and you can tighten that thing right up. Um, this will be good for the rest of the evening, but we'll definitely change this after tonight at this rate. Okay, let's get a look. Okay, we have got ourselves another musky. We are looking at a three fish night. Man, I don't know what to say. This is so freaking cool. Flap tail again. Wow. I don't know what else to say. But uh, we'll get her back quick. Get my leg out of here. I'm kind of stuck here. Okay. Come here, girl. Let me get your tail. Come here. Oh, yeah. She's in good shape. Get her facing upstream. There she goes. Perfect. Awesome. way one just bit it i was picking up my phone to text robbie one bit it it was sitting that fish had to be just oh my gosh no way i left my bait hanging over the side and a fish ate it that is the stupidest thing i've ever seen oh my gosh look what i just texted robbie a <laughs> bunch of faces holy crap that was unbelievable dude i'm gonna cast out These fish are on the chew. Holy cow, this is freaking unbelievable. Come on, where are you at? I bet that one just sunk under the boat that I had 
follow. I was just gonna get a drink, text Robbie quick. Yeah, it ate it right there. It was just sitting there in the current. Obviously the bait is still working as you can see. What the actual, that was ridiculous. There we go, got her, got her. Another one, smaller one, smaller fish. Small fish, small fish. We'll just see if we can get a quick look at her and then let the line loose, see if we can get her to come off. No sense making her smart. Well, actually, yeah, it is a little smaller one. Yep, it's got that front hook though, doggone it. Let's see if we can water release this one. Don't jump in the boat. Let's see here if we can just do this without netting her if we possibly can. Okay, she's gone. Perfect. Didn't even have to touch her. Okay, we got ourselves a four fish night. Holy cow. Yeah, this is going to need some some rectification here. Yeah, look at this thing. It's super loose. I'm going to have to get my screwdriver and tighten this puppy back up. Here's another. Got her. Another one. Next cast. Two and two casts, baby. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? They are in here like flies. Holy man. Whew. Two muskies in two casts on top. Let's see. Yeah, we better, let's net her. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Holy man, this is freaking unbelievable. What a bite. Okay, we're clear. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm almost out of memory on my cards here. Kind of freaking me out. Okay, here we go. Another musky, musky number five. Five fish, solo mission, all on top water. And it's not even dark yet, but there's one problem. I forgot my headlamp, so it could be an issue. Let's get her back. Okay, number six, hopefully coming right up. All right, peeps, I'm going to try one other bait. I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. You're crazy. But I've got another old school bait I haven't made for a long time. This is the Whopper Popper. And uh, basically, it's a buzz bait. It's got a little clacker on it there. And I can fish this ultra slow as well. Of course, it's a brand new bait. And you know me. I'm not prepared. I don't have the hook sharpened. But I'm going to hit them pretty quick. These Eagle Claw 774s are pretty sharp from the get-go but uh yeah that one doesn't look so good the way they're eating it i probably don't have to do this but take just a few more seconds do we have six this is just another straight retrieve bait it's actually about the most versatile top water out there you can fish it at any speed ultra slow that's what i like to do when it's super calm like this um to even just burning it like in one foot chop big waves I've caught some pretty big fish on this thing especially fishing it slow right at dark that little buzz bait clacker you can hear that thing coming fishing it pretty much identical speed as the flap tail so we'll see they haven't seen one of these I'm sure in a long time well folks how was that for getting back into the swing of things of musky fishing Whew. I'm certainly pleased Oh uh, man, what an incredible evening, super hot, lots of bugs, flat calm, 
but you can, uh, you probably can't see, but full moon right behind me coming up in two days. Um, how awesome was that to get back into the swing of it with top waters? Flaptail absolutely murdered it tonight. Um, I don't know what I had for bites, but I think I went five for nine, maybe five for ten. Hard to say. I'm not really sure. It was certainly exciting to get back doing this again. That's all I got. The bugs are out. Um, I don't have my headlamp and that's what I got for you. So thank you so much for coming back and visiting us again. Make sure to go down, click the little red subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And looking forward to getting back out with Robbie again too. Um, it's been it's been a hot minute. So there you have it. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks guys.